Hi friends, today's story is munching and crunching the ABCs. Oh, ooh, yummy. What do you see on that cover? I see tomatoes and lettuce. Whew, all kinds of cool vegetables and fruit. It's by Nell K. Duke, Cooper D. Duke, and Kimberly Brenneman. Those are the authors of the book, and they write the pictures. They looks like they probably took photos of the pictures and wrote the words in the book. Munching and crunching the ABCs. Hey, I wonder if you guys munch and crunch on your ABCs and don't even know it. Oh. I wonder, let's find out if you've eaten some of your munching and crunching ABCs. A is for, hmm, <gasps> apple maybe? Let's find out. <gasps> Whoa, it's an apricot. I didn't even think about an apricot. Apples are munched and crunched. But so are apricots. This small round fruit grows on trees too. Look, it has a big seed. Unlike the apple seeds are really tiny, aren't they? This has a big pitted seed. That's an apricot. B is for, oh, what's that? Banana. You're right, banana. Like apples and apricots, bananas are a fruit. Fruits are part of a plant that have seeds. You might not think bananas have seeds, but they do. The seeds are very small and you can eat them. That is true, they have little tiny ones. C is for, oh, what's that? Carrot! The carrots we eat are not fruit. They do not have seeds. There are different parts of the plant that we eat. Do you remember what carrots are? We learned about it. They grow in the ground and they are a root. Yeah, root. We call carrots a vegetable. D is for <gasps> donut. No, look at there's a big red X. No, donuts are not a fruit or vegetable. They are not plants. They are something that people make. You're right, you have to make it with the dough. D is for dragon, a dragon fruit. Dragon fruit are part of a plant that grows in many places around the world. E is for, ooh, Mr. Ryan likes this one. Eggplant. Eggplants aren't eggs, but they are from plants. People cook eggplants to eat them. We usually call eggplants vegetables when we cook them, but eggplants are the fruit of the plant. They have seeds inside too. F is for, oh, do you guys know what that is? It's a fig, a fig. People and other animals eat fig fruits. Animals poop out the seeds, which can grow into new fig plants. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting, huh? This is the way a lot of seeds are spread. G is for gourd. Oh, you see these at Halloween time. Gourds are fruits that come in many shapes and colors. Some of them are edible, meaning that they can eat them, but others are not. I don't think I'd want to eat those. H is for huckleberry. Hey, that looks like a blueberry, doesn't it? Huckleberries are an edible fruit, but be careful. Many fruits that look like huckleberries are not safe to eat. Also, ask an adult before you eat a fruit you find outside. Very true, because it might be poison. So make sure you ask a grown-up before you eat it. I is for ice cream. Oh. There's a question mark. No, ice cream is not a fruit or vegetable, but ice cream can be made with a piece of fruit or vegetable in it. Have you had strawberry ice cream? How about cucumber ice cream or carrot ice cream? Those are real ice cream flavors that some people eat. Another fruit with the name fig is the Indian fig. 
People make jam, jelly, and drinks out of the Indian fig. Hmm, I've never heard of that one before. J is for jackfruit. Jackfruit are related to figs. Can you see some ways they look similar? Yeah, they both have seeds. K is for kohlrabi. Kohlrabi is a versatile vegetable. You can eat two parts of the kohlrabi plant, the leaves and the round fat stem. I've never heard of this one before. L is for lettuce. People eat lettuce leaves in salads and on sandwiches and in lots of other ways. Like most fruits and vegetables, lettuce is good for people's bodies as long as we don't eat too much. Huh. I didn't know you could eat too much. <laughs> Bunny rabbits like it too, don't they? M is for... Mango! Mangoes are good for most people's bodies too, but don't eat the pit. It's not edible. Ooh, so a lot of these fruits and vegetables have seeds in them. You see that? They have a big pitted seed. N is for nectarines. Some people call nectarines a superfood because they're so good for people's bodies. O is for Okra. The fruit of the okra plant is called a pod. Pods hold seeds. People can eat both the pods and the seeds. P is for peas, my favorite. P. These round peas are the seeds of the pea plant. They grow inside the pods. With many kinds of peas, people can eat the pod as well as the pea seeds. Both parts are edible. Q is for Quince, a Quincy, Quince, I'm not sure, I think it's Quincy. They look somewhat like apples, but they are a lot less common. Would you be willing to try one? Sure. R is for, ooh, I love these, what's that? Raspberry, there are about 100 seeds in one raspberry. Good thing the seeds are edible. There's a lot of seeds. S is for, ooh, another one of my favorite. Strawberry. Strawberries are also a fruit that we eat. Can you find the seeds on a strawberry? <gasps> They're on the outside. Look at all those seeds. Good thing we can eat them. T is for, ooh, you can make pizza sauce with this vegetable. It's a, oh, actually, it's a fruit. Tomato. So many foods are made from tomato fruit, such as ketchup, many kinds of salsa, and some kinds of pasta sauce. U is for uh, uh, ugly fruit. There's a fruit called ugly fruit. The outside of an ugly fruit is not edible, but the inside is. There are other fruits like that, such as bananas and oranges. V is for a vanilla bean. Vanilla beans grow in pods. People dry the pods in a special way so that we can use the pods and beans to flavor the drinks and foods such as ice cream. W is for watercress. Watercress is an unusual leafy vegetable. This plant usually grows in water rather than on land. X is for Exigua. That looks like a lot like watermelon, doesn't it? It's a watermelon. Oh, wow. The Chinese word for watermelon begins with a exigua. Wow, that's a fancy name for watermelon. Y is for yam. The part of the yam plant that we eat grows underground. Usually yams are cooked before being eaten. Z is for, oh, I know this one, zucchini. My mom makes zucchini bread. It's really yummy. Zuc zucchini that we eat is the fruit of the zucchini plant. It is also sometimes called a superfood. Eating zucchini is great for many people's bodies. You have munched and crunched all the way from A to Z. Remember your fruits and, veg your fruits and veggies to eat healthy. 
So yeah, so if we want to stay healthy, we need to eat our fruits and vegetables, right? Yep, and then here is a glossary, and it talks about all the different fruits and vegetables that we looked at. And there's an index if you want to know where to find huckleberries. Go to page 15 and 16. Where do I find carrots? Go to page 5 and 6 and 18. Whoa. And that is the end. <laughs> so we were munching and crunching on the alphabet all this time and you didn't even know it, I bet. So next time you eat a fruit or vegetable, I want you to say, mm, I'm eating an a, a, apple A. I'm eating a b, b, banana B. I'm eating a carrot C. C, c carrot. I'm eating a b, 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 blueberry. <laughs> All right. Thanks, friends. I hope you enjoy this story.